Chad and I are very blue job, pink job in this house. I don't know how Chad does that. I don't know how he does any of this. Just so stressed out. I miss Chad. This is like not going so well. I'm just, I feel like I'm like shaking. I'm gonna cry. Yep. <laughs> Chad took a job six hours north on a little island, and I'm all alone with the kids for a whole week. I'm going to make a fire today. I have not made a fire since Chad has been gone, and I thought that I would just maybe not do that. But it's getting cold, and this room is useless without a fire in it. It's very humbling taking care of all my duties around the house, plus Chad's. First though, chickens. Okay, Chad didn't really have time to cut wood before he left. This is our wood pile, um, but probably more so for like the spring, it won't be dry. Before that, maybe even next winter, Chad said. I don't know. I don't know anything about starting the fire. I actually don't even know why we keep the firewood. I don't want to give up. I'm gonna make a solid effort. I just have to find where he keeps the wood. I'm gonna have to call him. Okay, go pee with your son. Chad and I are very blue job, pink job in this house. I do all the cooking and the cleaning, mostly handle everything that goes on inside the house. And he does everything outside. He does the fire, the chickens, he does a lot of the gardening, all of, he does a lot. Medusa, hey, eat your breakfast. Today is Sunday, so it's probably a week from today until he's home. We're gonna make some eggs and some French toast. What's that? So yesterday, after I talked to Chad, he didn't have time to cut any firewood, so there is no firewood here for me to start a fire. And then yesterday ended up being like a really nice sunny day, and I didn't feel like I needed to have a fire as bad. I'm not sure if I'm going to bother getting firewood. I'm not going to probably chop it myself. Today, Franny is going to the dentist to get her lip tie looked up and then we're gonna go to the grocery store to pick up a few things i'm not quite sure what else we have going on today it's monday i feel like there might be something else but i'm just trying to keep busy keep busy with the kids <laughs> what are you doing franny oh there's frost on the ground today <gasps> so i've been thinking about christmas or shall I say vlogmas? 
I have always wanted to do Vlogmas, and since this year I've struggled putting out content, I think that I'm going to try to do 24 days of Vlogmas. Hi, buddy. I've really been feeling the Christmas spirit the last couple of years. I think now that I have kids, it's just so much fun. So doing Vlogmas will give me a reason or more like a creative outlet to express my Christmas joy with the, t with the kids and with you guys. Dentist said there's nothing to worry about. She could outgrow it. And if she doesn't, then when she, when her adult teeth come in, it's something we can look at. It just kind of sucks because it hurts to nurse. And she doesn't have like the best latch, but oh well, we have come this far, no big deal. In moments like this, when they're both crying and I feel overwhelmed, the best thing I can do is pour a cup of tea and just hang in there. What you doing, Fran? Oh, did you find fledged jammies? Today, I have a big chore to do that I've not been looking forward to. Sit, Bing. Good boy. Okay, go ahead. Oh, and it snowed last night. It's cold here. Time to empty the potty. I don't care that it's a poop bucket. It's just so heavy, and I have to lift it into the compost pile. I have to somehow get that lid back on. I don't, I don't know how Chad does that. I don't know how he does any of it. I miss Chad. Now for a little rinsey poo, a little clean out, and I'm done. What you doing, Franny? <laughs> so I was talking to Chad this morning, and he says that he's coming home on Saturday, and I don't have to go pick him up, and I can't wait. Today's 
Tuesday. Still so long. This is the longest we've ever been apart. But we're gonna have lots of fun today. I'm thinking I might make some cookies right now. Just got some chocolate chips. Make some cookies and then we're going to the pool later. You wanna go pool, Floyd? Today? Yeah. A different pool. Do you want to? Yeah, I love that pool. You love that pool? Yeah. Hey, hey. Hello. Practice your moves on the stuffed animals, not on your sister, okay? While I was putting the kids down, we lost power. The island was hit with a bomb cyclone, so I took this opportunity to just hang out and read my book in the peace and quiet. Quick update, this morning has been insane. That storm last night was crazy. Bingo cried himself to sleep, I felt so bad. I gave him a bunch of hemp, maybe that's why he fell asleep, I'm not sure. But I left the house this morning because we have no power, we have, which means we have no water because we're on a well. And I have mom's group today, so I'm gonna go to mom's group. I just was getting Franny dressed and I noticed she has a rash like all over her chest and it's like raised bumps and it's freaking me out. It kind of looks like the chicken pox, but I don't, I don't think so. Like, I don't know anyone who has the chicken pox and Floyd doesn't have anything, so it doesn't seem contagious. Anyways, I called my doctor, the family doctor, which usually takes two weeks to get in to see. And then I just asked if anyone else, like by chance, could see her today. And they're like, if you can be here in 15 minutes, we can get her in. So I am so excited. This never happens. You can never just call the doctor and get into the doctor. So we're on our way to the doctor's office first before we go to mom's group. Today at mom's group, we're using antlers and hide to make a craft. Franny is also like exceptionally in a good mood today. Like she's like giggling away back there, clapping her hands. So let's go get her checked out first. The doctor ended up taking over an hour, so we missed my mom's group. So the doctors have no idea. They said that it looks like maybe like bites like some bug bit her or something like that but I don't know how that could be like we co-sleep and none of us have bug bites on us like this is why I hate going to the doctor I feel like they just don't know I get really frustrated I feel disheartened and, and frustrated now <laughs> God, it's just one of those days I maybe I should turn the car off actually hang on oh no I don't want the kids to wake up I'm just gonna leave it for a minute the kids fell asleep so I was driving around like I normally do when the kids fall asleep and I was driving down this road oh there's a deer it's beautiful right just driving down this road to see what was at the end of it someone's property so I couldn't keep driving so I thought I would turn around I got stuck I'm stuck kids are sleeping in the car I'm stuck in the middle of nowhere I have some friends coming to unstick me but I feel pretty bad 
doing that to them. Is it just one tire? Yeah. Oh, but it's like marshy. I should have known there's a storm last night. Everything is crazy. There's a river right there. Oh, I'm just so stressed out. I miss Chad. This is like not going so well. I'm just, I feel like I'm like shaking. I'm gonna cry, yep. I just want Chad to come home now. Give it a little push. Should I give it a little push? <laughs> we're saved! We're saved! He brought those like orange plastic things and he stuck them under the tires and then he drove us up. So we're just gonna back out of here. I'm not gonna try to turn around. That was my mistake. Let's go for a walk with our friends now. What are you doing, Franny? I'm hitting Franny, no hitting. Hey, hey. No. Okay, now you want to play with them? Gentle, Franny. We just got home and there's power here. I honestly did not think that we were going to have power when we got home. I was mentally prepared to not have power. But another little thing that I don't necessarily have to do without Chad, but at this point I'm going to because last night, the wind and the rain, we haven't put plastic on that window yet. Every... You guys are cute. Every winter we cover that window in plastic because it's just like a single pane window and it doesn't even close properly so water can get in. And there was a little pool there this morning. So I'm gonna attempt that. You know I am a Jedi? I have the force, the power of the forces inside me. Watch out Franny, I've got, I'm working the force. It's Friday. I didn't film yesterday because I went to mom's group yesterday. Floyd was in school. I just kind of hung out in town. Tomorrow is Saturday and Chad will be home tomorrow really late at night. The kids won't even see him till they wake up on Sunday. But today I went back to, it's called the Laughing Llama, where we get our chicken food. And I got a little bale of hay because it's pretty swampy in the chicken run. And I think I, if I put down some hay, it'll make it nicer in there. I have a little project on my hands for today. Pretty proud of myself. I've done all of the things that Chad does when he's home, except for make a fire, which I really wanted to make a fire. I just didn't because we didn't have any wood cut and then it would be a big hassle to chop wood. I think Chad like cuts up pallets and yeah, that that's one step too far for me. I'd start a fire if there was firewood, but I'm I'm prob I'm not gonna cut up pallets. Franny is sleeping in the car, so I'm just going to get the hay out and do it now. It's a compressed bale of hay, so I guess it's like the same amount of hay as a giant one, but just smaller, so I can just maneuver it myself. You can call me Miss Crow. If you're watching this and you're like, what is she doing? I don't know. 
what I'm doing. I just wanted it to be a little bit more homey. Now I gotta feed these suckers. We keep their chicken food underneath their coop so that it stays out of the rain. It doesn't get wet under there. Feed me, lady. I just came inside to wash my hands and change my pants and I'm watching the chickens out the window. They look more happy about their hay than I fed them breakfast. No one's even over there eating breakfast. They're just checking out the hay. I am so ready for Chad to come home though. I'm not sad or mad or I don't even know how to describe how I feel, but I'm just like done. I'm done living without him. My life is flat and dull. Minus this cutie pie. And flight. I mean, they keep me entertained, that's for sure. I woke up this morning with a sore throat, of course. But that meant oh, ah. I got to try my honey ginger concoction. Oh yeah. This is Ginger that's been fermenting in honey for, oh, probably like six weeks. Mm -hmm. It instantly makes my throat feel better. I'm not one to like eat raw garlic, so I was nervous to try it, but it's very, very sweet. It's yummy. It does taste like garlic, but it's not, kind of like candy. And candy garlic? Oh, don't smell me though. Today's goal, just me and Fran, is going to be to get her to nap as long as possible, hopefully, because I have so much work to do editing. I have to get this video wrapped up, and it's a big one because I've been vlogging all week. I gotta get it out there because I'm doing vlogmas. I'm so committed. I've got so many ideas and I'm so excited. It's gonna be pretty raw and unedited because I'm not gonna have time to like sit there and edit every single night. So make sure you subscribe so that you don't miss out on vlogmas. I have never done it and I was always so excited to do it. Attempt it. I'm so, so nervous too. So today, back to what I'm doing today, is I'm just cleaning. I'm just gonna tidy up all the shot everywhere to make room for Christmas decorations. Wait a second. Is there a BB down there? Is that fun, Franny? <laughs> Today is the day Chad comes home. It feels like today's gonna be a long day. I don't think I'm gonna do too much today. I was gonna go into town. I wanted to go to the dollar store and get some Christmas things for Vlogmas, but I don't know if I really wanna leave the house. In a few hours, I'll probably regret not leaving the house oh, as he destroys stuff. I might leave the house, we'll see. Making a waterfall? Yeah, I did. Do you see her? See ya, bro. Franny, you're so cute. Show us your outfit. <laughs> that pocket's too small for that ball. Why? It's just too small for that ball. Gonna give her ball back? Don't you do that. <gasps> Floyd. 
Okay, we're going to the mall, guys. So there was a store that was having a Black Friday deal and I got two new pairs of leggings. I actually own a pair of these leggings. They're like not the best like quality. They are like polyester and spandex, but they are so soft. They're actually called Just Cozy. So I got a blue pair, 10 bucks for one pair. And then I got like this cute pattern, but these ones are fuzzy on the inside. Like I really need a pants and for 10 bucks a pair and I already know they're really comfortable and they last a long time. You know, it's about balance. Right now I'm wearing my amazing $60 bamboo leggings, but sometimes I wear $10 polyester. Jolly good surprise. I went into town to just stop at the grocery store because Floyd wanted some rice cakes and they were having their local light up. Kids are sleeping. I'm hanging out with Bing down there and I think Chad is gonna be home in like 30 minutes or so. I'm not gonna get my hopes up. He might be like later than expected. They stopped for dinner on their way home. I think he might be home. Bingo was just barking. Who's that? Oh, I must do some more.